Hello, uh, Oglio SEO. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, my name is Barry Adams and I am a senior digital marketer at Pierce Communications in Northern Ireland. My friend Klaus has asked me to record a little video about the proper use of H1 and H2 header tags for online news, which is why I'm standing here. An example I often tend to use when I explain this topic is Wayne Rooney, the Manchester United footballer. His name tends to get used a lot in newspaper headlines and puns that uh, sound clever and help sell newspapers. A couple of examples are we're through when England got through to the next round of the European Cup, route of Africa when they were kicked out of the World Cup football in South Africa, and similar headlines. One good headline to show this with is Roo blows fuse over booze when Rain Rooney got angry over fans booing him at a football match. When a search engine looks at that headline, it doesn't really understand what it means. Whereas for someone who picks up the paper and sees that next to a big photo of Rain Rooney, it's perfectly clear what the topic of that headline is. But for a search engine, there's a couple of words in there that don't really mean much in, when taken together as a headline. Fuse, for example, blows fuse, does that mean it's about electrical fuses? Roo, is that a word? Uh, does it maybe refer to Roo, Rooney Mara, the actress? So that headline, while making perfect sense to humans, especially combined with a photo of Wayne Rooney, to search engines, it's a bit of a mystery what the actual topic of the article is. You have to keep in mind, Google's indexer is not a particularly smart piece of software. It is, after all, still a machine. Machines don't really have a sense of humor. So you need to put the right keywords in there, both in the article title as in the subheader, to explain what the topic of the article is and uh, how it's relevant to what you're discussing. So what can you do to make sure that your article headlines and subheaders are understood by Google and that you get maximum value from them? Well, first of all, you should make sure that your headlines use H1 and H2 header tags. These are HTML tags that are used to indicate the topic and subheadings of the content. Ideally, your headline is the H1 tag and your subheader is the H2 tag. For some websites, the H1 tag is already being used, for example, for the name of the entire website, in which case your article headline should be the H2 and your subheader should be the H3 tag. Also make sure you include relevant keywords and related keywords. In my example, you want to spell out Wayne Mooney's entire name. You could also mention, mention Manchester United, which is the football club that he plays for, and the word striker, which is the position that he plays in. And also, if there's a specific topic, a specific newsworthy item, make sure you mention that explicitly and try not to make too many punny, funny jokes in your news headlines. So when you do it right, you end up with a headline that is very easily understood by everybody who sees it, and more importantly, it is very easily understood by search engines. This is an example of Wayne Rooney saying something on Twitter about revival striker Didier Drogba, which then gets picked up by Google and shown as a universal search element on Google search results when people do a search for Rain Rooney Twitter. That's all I have to say about headlines. Just be clever about it and understand that the search engine is not as smart as you are. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of Klaus's talk.